Now, today marks a milestone in the evolution of the Royal Institute of International Affairs and in its mission to help build a sustainably secure, prosperous, and just world. Since its founding in 1920, the Institute has served as a trusted venue for debate on the most pressing issues in international affairs. And it's become one of the most respected institutes for its independent analysis and creative ideas on how to improve international public policy. We recognize that the world is undergoing a profound transformation. In particular, the emergence of an integrated global economy means that all governments and societies can and should now contribute to the debate on how best to respond to international challenges. So this raises the question of how we can ensure that the Institute remains as relevant in our second century as we have been in our first. Now we will, of course, increase the scope of our global partnerships. But a central part of our response has been to create an academy for leadership in international affairs within Chatham House. The academy will take advantage of our location in the heart of London to host a new generation of engaged individuals from all corners of the world and help them better understand and contribute to informed and enlightened public policy. Their presence here will also bring new perspectives and new voices to our research and our convening. Chatham House has wanted to underscore the centrality of this new dimension of its work to our mission and also ensure that we can attract the best individuals and institutions to work with us. Now, we could think of no more appropriate way to do so than to name the Academy in honor of Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II, who has served as the patron of the Institute since the beginning of her reign in 1952. It is particularly appropriate that the Academy honors the name of Her Majesty, who was herself a young leader who has inspired so many across the Commonwealth and the globe, and also who has worked so hard in her reign to promote opportunities for youth around the world. In the future, we look forward to building a large, connected community of Academy alumni who will benefit from the insights, skills, knowledge, and networks that they acquired whilst with us. And so now it's my great privilege and pleasure to ask the director of Chatham House to formally launch the Academy with Her Majesty. I am delighted that the Royal Institute of International Affairs has launched this academy as it approaches its first centenary anniversary. I wish the Institute every success with its new initiative. <laughs>